Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a monkey's fist beaded bracelet. All right, so here we are doing another tutorial and um, a little bit different on this one. So I've got two, uh, this was the first one I made. This is one we're doing in the tutorial, but it is a monkey's fist bracelet. It's supposed to resemble, you know, those um, beaded bracelets um, that are often kind of done with those um, uh, in that sort of Asian style or Chinese beaded bracelet and some of them do have rather large beads So this is supposed to kind of emulate that So um, yeah, if you're not you uh, good at tying monkey's fists try this project out and uh, you'll be really good at tying monkey's fists after and they are um, Mini monkey's fists so two passes on each So that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys will like it and uh, remember if you're looking for where to get paracord and all the materials I use in this video feel free to check out those affiliate links down below and also a huge thank you, as always, to my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials and the monthly giveaway, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the video as well as down below. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So to get this bracelet started, you're going to need your paracord, of course. And um, I'm using a 3 8 inch uh, steel slingshot ammo as uh, the core for my mini monkey's fist. So um, before we get into that though, if you don't have these, what you can do as a kind of um, alternative is just take a piece of paracord, right? Just do a simple overhand knot like so to get that. And then you can cut that little knot off like so. And you don't have to melt it, but you can just melt it just in case. Okay, watch your fingers. And see now we have this little core that when you compare it to the um, slingshot ammo here, it's pretty similar in size, okay? So if you don't want to use the um, slingshot ammo, you don't have to do that. You can just make your own little cores with uh, scrap pieces of paracord. But I'm going to use the cores because, uh, sorry, the uh, slingshot ammo because I want just to have a little weight to my bracelet. But anyways, I'm going to start with one. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to start on one end of my paracord. And all we're going to do is tie a simple um, two pass mini monkey's fist. So I've done a tutorial on this before, but let's go through it again. So I've got this end of my paracord. I'm going to start on my fingers here and I'm going to make two loops like so. And then next you're going to take that core, you're going to put it in the middle. And then now you're going to wrap around this way uh, horizontally. You can see we're working with a decent amount of cord and you're going to wrap another two passes. around your horizontal okay so look on this side here when you can see the two there that means we can now remove our fingers like so and then from here we're going to do another two passes vertically going through the top and the bottom of these um, two spaces here okay so I'm just gonna bend the cord through through the bottom now let's go one more and our last pass here through the bottom and then one more through the top Okay, there we go. So you'll know you've done right when you've got two passes on each side. See? And now we're going to tighten this guy up. So I'm going to start. Here's my beginning cord. I'm going to tug on this one. Let's bring that down. And what I've noticed with these uh, mini monkey's fists, you try to 
keep everything nice and even when you tighten it. Otherwise, the um, the ball bearing in the center will start to show up. Like it'll peek out a little bit just because it's only a two pass monkey's fist. And then take this excess and feed it all the way through your monkey's fist to the other side. So just, uh, yeah, pay attention to what you're doing because it's really easy to lose track and you're just pulling the excess back and forth through one side to the other. So just keep an eye on what you're doing. So there we go, take it to this side. Middle. And then this one here. And there we go. So this could be a little bit tighter. I'm going to tighten that a little bit more. But um, be careful not to go too tight because you could cause the, um, the bearing in the middle to uh, peek out. But anyways, so that's one, right? And you can probably guess where we're going with this. You're, uh, after you've gotten the first monkey fist um, nice and even and tight, you're just going to continue um, that process, okay? So right next to it, you're going to again tie another monkey's fist, right? So we don't need to go through this again, but you're just going to repeat this process um, as many times as you need to to make the length of your bracelet. For my bracelet, I've noticed uh, I need about 10 monkey's fists, um, but that could vary. So uh, the amount of paracord I'm using is for about 10 mini monkey's fists. Okay, and oh, see. Careful not to lose your bearing there. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to continue this process, tying the monkey's fists one after the other. And when you finish your um, second monkey's fist, uh, you may notice that it's not close enough. So you'll have to pull the slack out, but I'll show you that in a sec. So as you can see, I've tied my second monkey's fist and I said, uh, you're gonna make sure, see so you can adjust the distance between them. You don't wanna make them too close, but maybe just a very small amount of space because the bracelet does have to bend. So keep them maybe about that much apart. Um, but whatever spacing you do, just keep it even throughout your bracelet. And you just uh, work that slack all the way through. Okay. So um, now I'm just gonna keep tying my monkey's fists. I've tied two, so I gotta tie eight more for my bracelet and then I will um, I'll show you how to uh, make the clasp at the end. So I've tied my 10 monkey sis and it's just the right size for my wrist. Now to make that loop, um, so we're actually gonna use, as you saw earlier, the one uh, last monkey sis on this side is gonna be the kind of knot clasp. We're just gonna tie a scaffold knot. So just bend your paracord around like this and do one loop around, do a second loop around, then take your end of your paracord, pass it underneath both of those loops, and then pull it shut like so. You want that not looking just like that. Now um, you can kind of adjust it. Just make sure that this is the right size uh, not too big, not too small for the, um, the monkey's fist. That could probably be a little bit smaller. But just play around and adjust the, um, the tension um, of it on your wrist. And when you get this just to the right size, I'd probably make it like maybe that big, right? So it's just big enough. But then I'm going to move this knot down so it's a bit closer to here. So just adjust it as you see fit. And then um, you can snip and singe the excess. And then, um, yeah, we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. There is a quick shot on the wrist. So it does uh, kind of remind me of those uh, bracelets with really large beads on them. Um, yeah, I like the look of this one. So um, there we have it, the monkey's fist bracelet. Um, if you're not good at monkey's fist, give this one a try out because you will be very good at monkey's fist when you finish this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like the video, feel free to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And also, if you like this content, you want to see more videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And be sure to turn on notifications. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.